right, so isn't it beautiful out here? Check it out. I'm coming at you from my vacation here in Hawaii, and here's three simple daily habits that have helped me make more than $75 million. Let's go. All right, daily habit number one is focus. And I really can't harp on this enough because the thing that I see plague most entrepreneurs is that they can't stay focused to save their damn life. Instead, somewhere along the way, they've kind of bought into this concept that more is more. In other words, in order for them to get more money or get more success, they have to you know, chase down more opportunities. When in reality, it's quite the opposite. Less is more. It's about finding one opportunity, one thing, and staying so focused on that that you drive that thing all the way to the end zone. Yet so many people talk about this, you know, most millionaires have multiple income streams. The problem here is that you're mistaking the effect for the cause. Multiple income streams is not what caused them to be a millionaire, it's the effect of being a millionaire. In other words, at some point they were making more money than they could possibly deploy back into their business, so they were forced to find other places to put that money to create passive income streams. Yet they got there by having one active income stream. I have yet to find a single millionaire who has said to me, Kyalo, the key to my success was chasing down every opportunity that came across my plate and being distracted as often as possible. Not once have I heard that. And yet, you know, in a world full of distractions, most people fail to understand that focus is a superpower. And if you can do it, you'll destroy your competitors because most people can't. As an example, my phone is on do not disturb mode 24 seven. That's because I know that it takes a concerted amount of time and effort to get into the zone, which is where high quality work and high quality output comes from. But it takes seconds to break that, a notification or a ding of the telephone. My phone exists for my convenience, not the convenience of others. And that's just one of many, many ways that I stay focused throughout the day. The interesting thing about focus is that when you're saying yes to something, it most often sounds like saying no to everything else that's not that. Daily habit number two is learning. Listen, people have all sorts of excuses about why they're not where they wanna be in life, but the painful truth that I've had to reconcile over time is realizing that anytime I'm not making the kind of money that I wanna make or I think I should be making, it's ultimately because I'm not as good as I think that I am. The gap between where we are and where we wanna be is usually a skills gap, and that's good news because any skill can be learned. Thankfully, I picked up on this early on in my career, and so in the early stages, it looked like you know buying books and listening to audios and getting coaching. Today, it looks like joining masterminds and going to events and networking with people that have already accomplished the things that I'm looking to accomplish. So if you're not willing to learn, then get used to being stuck where you are. All right, daily habit number three is business by numbers. And hang with me here, because if you wanna make millions, this is a supreme advantage. All right, let me take a step back and explain how my business works so you can comprehend this and then apply it to your business. Now, the way that we acquire customers in my business is primarily through an automated webinar. People attend a webinar, at the end of that webinar, they can buy a product. When somebody buys a product from us, they're eligible to have a conversation with my sales team for a consult. Somebody on my sales team will connect with them, take them through a process, figure out if they're a good fit for our program, and if they are, they'll make them an offer later Later on in that conversation. The reason I say all that is if we want to make two million dollars this month, you know, all I have to do is take over the last 90 days, how much has the average sales conversation been worth to us? And then I know that that's how many sales conversations we need to have this month in order to hit our goal. From there, I can figure out, okay, how many appointments need to go on our calendar in order for us to actually have that many conversations? From there, I can figure out, okay, so how many customers do we need to acquire in order to make sure we have that many appointments? From there, I can figure out, okay, how many people need to attend our webinar for us to acquire that many customers? And then then we can go tactically in marketing, figure out how to generate that many webinar registrants for all of the rest to happen. And listen, I used to do this long before I had a team and staff and all the complexities that come with a bigger business. Back in the day, I started out as an affiliate marketer, but it was generally the same thing. I had to go out and place ads that would turn into leads on an email list. And then I made money by making offers to that email list. And that's where the majority of my revenue came from. Over time, I was able to figure out what the average lead on my email list was worth. Then I I could set a goal for what I want to generate that month and figure out how many leads I needed to generate in order for me to hit the goal for the month. Then every day I just focused on making sure that I got as many leads that day as I needed to in order for everything else to happen properly over the course of the month. In the morning I would wake up, check on my ads, figure out you know what campaigns were working and, and, and scale those up 
figure out what campaigns weren't and cut those out. And every day I just stayed focused on making sure I generated the amount of leads I needed every day in order for my goal to take place at the end of the month. Now notice, in none of this am I talking about sitting around, hoping, praying, lighting candles, or wishing, or spamming people on social media, or making a hundred dance videos, hoping that people are gonna DM me. See, when you learn how to see your business through a set of numbers, then all of a sudden it becomes way less guesswork and much more science. So listen, there's three simple daily habits that anyone can learn that have helped me make more than $75 million at the time that I'm filming this video. And if you're somebody who's ambitious and driven, then make sure that you subscribe and hit that little bell notification down below so that you get notified every week when I drop more content like this. And by the way, my name is Cal Akanai. I'm an entrepreneur that I started a few short years ago while working in a coffee shop for minimum wage, and I've gone on now to create multiple seven and eight figure businesses. And I say that so that you know that everything I share on my channel comes from the real world applied knowledge of the things that have helped me create those results, and I share them here in hopes that they help you create similar results as well. So if you like that sort of thing, go ahead and subscribe, hit that little bell notification, and by the way, watch one of these next two videos that are about to pop up if you wanna go further down this rabbit hole. I look forward to seeing you in the future, my friend. Take care.